A fight is brewing in Japan over where a facility to restore radioactive soil should be located. The March 11th, March 2011 meltdowns and explosions at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant contaminated topsoil across a wide area in the country's northeast. The central government wants to build a facility in Futaba County in Fukushima Prefecture. That's where the damaged nuclear plant is located. But the mayor of the town of Futaba, which is in the designated no-entry zone, says, not in my backyard. You say, how can this happen to me? We have been forced to evacuate en masse because of radiation. I cannot allow the construction of a facility that would continue to keep us from returning to our homes. This isn't a fantasy, it is a reality. The central government requested late last month to build a temporary storage facility in Futaba County. The county has eight municipalities. Authorities in some of them say they have no choice but to accept the proposal. They've asked Fukushima Prefecture to play a leading role in co coordinating the plan. There are various opinions within the district. I have to listen to each of them before I respond to the central government. A senior official from the environment ministry says the conflicting views will be taken into account. But the official says the storage facility must be built without further delay in order to move ahead with the process of decontaminating the areas around Fukushima Daiichi. Every schmo has the fantasy that the planet revolves around them. The head of Japan's nuclear safety watchdog wants to win back public's trust. Confidence in atomic energy dropped following the Fukushima accident. Oh, yes! If Da Vinci was alive today, he'd be eating microwave sushi naked in the back of a Cadillac with the both of us. Hiroyuki Fukano of the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency, or NISA, says his organization should do everything it takes to restore faith in the government's energy policy. The project of his life is now the toy of mine. <laughs> We have no option but to go back to basics and make as much effort as possible in order to regain public trust in nuclear safety. History, tradition, culture are not concepts. These are trophies I keep in my den as paperweights. Fukano spoke Wednesday to NISA officials. He said he was deeply sorry his agency was not able to prevent the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. The government launched NISA 11 years ago. The agency will be merged with the Nuclear Safety Commission and transformed into a new nuclear regulator in April. Critics have characterized NISA as a nuclear watchdog that lacks teeth and independence. Chaos will cause the world with this machine will be our final masterpiece. A government report released in December said agency officials working on the emergency task force at Fukushima Daiichi evacuated in the initial stages of the accident. It also said NISA collection and release of information was insufficient. When Japan's new nuclear safety agency is launched in April, it will be given the job of overhauling the country's nuclear regulations. But it must first come up with a set of rules on crisis management. The new agency will be expected to provide supervision and advice to power companies in the event of an emergency. It will take over from the industry ministry's nuclear and industrial safety agency and will come under the environment ministry. It will be responsible for advising the cabinet office's nuclear safety Commission. The agency will have a budget of nearly $650 million. That's up nearly $180 million from this year, a sign that the agency will be expected to strengthen crisis management, upgrade its regulations and take on more duties. The government has come under criticism for being slow in collecting and releasing data after the nuclear accident in March and for not ordering the operator of the disabled Fukushima plant to prepare for a huge tsunami. The government says the new body must secure experienced professional personnel and cultivate a sharper sense of crisis among officials in addressing safety. A senior cabinet ministry official says the agency must protect the people and the environment. Okay. 
The Japanese government has tripled the size of emergency zones around nuclear plants. The zones now extend to 30 kilometers. More than 130 Japanese municipalities are now required to expand their preparations for nuclear accidents. The Nuclear Safety Commission it has decided to expand the zones in November. The government had issued evacuation orders to those in a 30 kilometer zone around the damaged Fukushima Daiichi plant. So government leaders revised their safety zones to match that. The expansion includes not only communities hosting nuclear power plants, but also surrounding municipalities. These local governments must now boost disaster preparedness by setting evacuation routes and securing shelters. The government also almost tripled the funding for nuclear disaster preparedness to more than $100 million in a budget plan for the next fiscal year. Municipalities within the expanded emergency zone will need further financial help. Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has called on opposition parties to help him balance Japan's books. He asked them to join talks on raising the nation's consumption tax. He made the call during his New Year's news conference. The reform of Japan's social security and tax systems is a major issue that no administration can postpone anymore. Noda said his administration hopes to call next week for consultations with the opposition. The government and the governing Democratic Party approved a plan last week to raise the 5% sales tax rate to 8% in April 2014, then to 10% in October 2015. The government hopes to submit relevant bills on tax reform to the Diet by the end of March. Noda also expressed his resolve to achieve other reforms, including reducing the number of seats in the Diet and cutting salaries for public servants. But what's changed is they've realized that an enormous amount more hot particles were released. Now even then, this is an assumption, remember all of the radiation detectors were blown to smithereens, and still they're assuming that about 98% of the radiation is still inside that reactor. But this new radiation is in the form of hot particles. What are they? Cesium, strontium, plutonium, uranium, cobalt-60, and many, many others. Now, when you go outside and you're in a cloud of noble gases, you can pick it up with a radiation detector because you're bombarded by gamma rays. But when you're in hot particles, unless there are many, 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 it's very difficult to detect a single hot particle. But that doesn't mean it's not dangerous. We're discovering by scientists, independent scientists, using air filters in Japan, that the average person in Tokyo breathed in about 10 of these hot particles every day all the way through the month of April. Those same scientists using air filters are discovering that in Fukushima, people were probably breathing in 30 or 40 times more radiation than they were in Tokyo. <clears throat> Again, in the form of a hot particle. And what surprised me was that air filters in, um, in Seattle indicate that people there were absorbing five hot particles every day for the month of April. Now, what does that mean? That means that that hot particle gets absorbed in your lung, or it winds up in your intestines, or it winds up in your muscle, or it winds up in your bone. <clears throat> 